Hi everyone! I'm so happy that you're here with me. I decided to create a video using the Cup of Destiny. So I did want it to be an unboxing video as well, but I would love if you would join me for my first teacup reading using this divination tool. Most of you who realize my channel is primarily tarot card readings, oracle readings, but I did want to make sure that there was room for me to make videos based on content of different modalities, different healing methods. I don't really want to box myself in by just primarily using cards. Hence, insightful light worker, right? I'd like to be insightful in many ways when it comes to using a multitude of divination tools. So I hope you find this video helpful. I'm very excited to dive in. Let's go ahead and dive into unboxing the Cup of Destiny. Now for some of you who may not be familiar with Tassiography, Tassiography is the means of fortune telling through tea leaves. So you could use a cup like this where it has symbols and you will look for where the placement of the leaves fall and each level uh, predicts different time periods in your life in the future. But then you also want to look for images as well. And the symbols and images will have their own meaning to the reader, okay? Uh, there could be very basic meanings. Say for instance, a butterfly could represent transformation. It all depends on the reader. Over time, you can start to develop your own symbolism and their meanings as well. So I'm gonna place this here. We have this lovely satin cover, this box. They have to box this for people like me. And then we have the saucer. So these are all zodiac signs here. And you will need to, um, for some readers, you know, the excess leaves that come out of your cup, you can read them as well. Move this out of the way. And we have the book that comes with it. The Cup of Destiny. Prior to purchasing this, I had bought a book and I will show you as supplemental information, supplemental reading. But this is, this is really good for beginners, for starters. So it appears that we have an introduction explaining a little bit of history on tassiography, how to make a reading, preparing for a reading, which we will do. I'm excited that you are going to join me on my first reading using this cup. Parts of the cup, it does say that the rim or upper represents your immediate present and future perhaps a day or so. The middle of the cup here represents a little further into the future, up to a week, and then the base of the cup is further away, the end of the week or even a few months ahead. And sometimes if a number appears at the bottom, it often signifies a number of weeks, so it clarifies the number of weeks or months. Then we have the symbols on the actual cup that they explain. And then it goes into imagery and symbols in which you may see in your cup and their meaning. All right. I did go right ahead and I bought some loose tea. Now they do recommend that you use either loose tea or you can also use coffee grounds but they do primarily suggest using tea. I couldn't resist myself. I had gone to market and I had bought Victorian chai black tea. And they do recommend, especially for beginners, uh, you can use oolong tea, 
or black tea to start. They do not recommend cutting open tea bags since they are too finely chopped. It doesn't really stick and it will not form images as clear as uh, black tea, regular, regular loose tea. All right, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna boil some water and we're gonna get started on our first tea leaf reading together. recommend that instead of using water from a dispenser that's hot or heated that it is recommended the water is boiled allow the tea to steep for at least two to three minutes and now for the fun part now I'm going to go ahead and drink the tea well how are you going to drink the tea while the loose leaves are in here a lot of times they will settle to the bottom and I may have even put a little bit too much of the leaves. It does recommend a half a teaspoon. But what I had done was, as you see from my preparation of the tea, I started to realize that the tea that I bought from market had far too many rose petals and for the first reading I really wanted it to come out with the imagery very clear. So I did have loose black tea that I had scooped in and added into my original tea that was mentioned at the start. So I'm going to go ahead. They say that when you're drinking your tea, this is the time to set your intention. You want to drink the tea until there's very little liquid in the cup, but you still want to leave a little bit of liquid at the bottom. I will be right back and I will set my intention for general messages to come up. All right, I'm just about done with my, my tea. It did say to leave a little bit of liquid on the bottom. Okay, which the tea was exceptionally good. And it says to pick up your cup in your left hand if you are a right-handed individual, which I am. So I'm going to switch hands. Breathe in deeply, close your eyes, and ask your question. Otherwise, just ask the cup to reveal your fortune in the week or month ahead. And we're just going to ask our angels, spirit guides, um, whatever your belief system is, the universe. Okay, we're going to ask what are the messages that we need to know here in the near future. When you are ready, circle the cups three times, counterclockwise. So we're going to set our attention. One, two, and three. Turn the cup upside down on its saucer. I have read that you could flip it onto the saucer. However, I don't want to chip my cup or my saucer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the saucer on top of my cup and then flip it this way. And with fair warning, be careful of spillage. I did get a little bit on the tapestry here, but I just put a cloth down so we can move forward. So it says, turn the cup upside down on its saucer and allow it to drain, which we have been doing. It is best to remain silent during this process to create the right atmosphere. Once you are satisfied that the cup has drained completely, turn it over to pick it up and look at the patterns, shapes, and symbols. What is it you, that is your first impression? Let's see guys. I may have used too much tea, however, however, when you're reading tea leaves, you are supposed to look for shapes that are created within the negative, but also within the tea leaves. So if we had an example, I would say that, um, well, let's just keep looking. 
because what I'm seeing here is a bat. I'm seeing a bat and it's very much so more so some of it is in the distant future but a lot of it is on the mid middle here and then we have some leaves clumped here between these two so let's go ahead and I want to take a second to see if there are any other small images coming through because you want to make sure you're looking like I had mentioned within the white but also you can look for images within the actual leaves it's very much like when you focus your eyes almost go a little bit out of focus or when you're staring at clouds okay in the book does mention the significance of time based on the handle so if I was giving a monthly reading yes this would be near future right but it would break it down into four so this could be the first week second week third week and fourth week because the handle is supposed to represent you and the start of the almost like the clock or the time there's also past present future but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to look in the glossary about the symbols that I see or the images that I see here so I see a bat so I'm gonna put this down and I do see that the T clumped more in one area here in the saucer but we'll get to that now some of you may see that as a bird but I will be looking for the bat here we go the bat here is indicating a very busy phase is forecasted in the weeks ahead, but it may be hard to make much noticeable or real progress as you flit about from one task to another, like a bat hunting insects at twilight. For me, this would make sense because I feel as though I myself am juggling a lot at this time. So this is just indicating that you could be doing a lot also, as I start reading the meaning of the, the definition or the meaning of the image, I can already sense and feel my intuition picking up. So I, I immediately start feeling as though I need to start describing different characteristics of the bat. Maybe staying up late at night, doing, doing work, trying to complete work, possibly not being able to sleep at night supersonic senses right so your senses could be heightened at this time especially during the night so i already feel as though i need to continue on with what the definition is here in the book now let's look at what we have here for their symbols so we also have snake we have a huge clump in the snake but then also in the horseshoe so someone does not deserve your trust. Be watchful and do not confide in anyone you do not know well. If other warning signs appear, see ace of spades and cross. Keep quiet and guard your secrets well. However, the tea leaves are also in the horseshoe. So it's fortunate co coincidences, lucky breaks and meaningful surprises await you. Keep an open mind. So what this is telling me as the reader is that there could be individuals seeing you succeed, but they're not realizing, or they could realize, how much hard work you're putting into something. If you have the bat, it seems as though for the next few weeks and even going into the future, you're gonna be busy, but all of your hard work is going to be paying off. However, keep what you are doing to yourself because it might not be in alignment with their belief systems or with their traditional viewpoints or merely because you are a lucky person you are attracting what it is that you're putting out there in the universe and all of your hard work is paying off so you are going to have a stroke of luck for some people this could really agitate them and they could be jealous of the success that's coming in for you now we do have one 
leaf here I'm just going to I feel drawn because it's very apparent that there's one leaf that wanted to land right on the diamond so let's check that out and remember the rim here is our nearest future so this is something that you need to be apparent and aware of now but you will have good luck coming in this could pertain to changes all right and maybe this is what launches you into the next few weeks into the next couple months being busy so even though it looks as though we didn't get a whole lot of imagery it already is providing a multitude of messages here for you ace of diamonds an important time for your goals ambitions and life direction expect positive developments and increased self-confidence this is very much and like I was saying I did say it was a general reading for all so it seems as though you would have plenty of good luck and fortune coming your way but you need to make sure whatever it is that you're doing and not that you have to be sneaky but it's just saying stay focused stay laser focused and not share all of what you're doing with another individual who may not intentionally have your best interest at heart but it could it could really throw you off here while you're so focused and driven at this time let's see what else so i am curious as to all of the images clumped together here on these symbols i would say that it'd be a good thing to kind of keep in the back of your mind what they mean let's look into Let's look into the book on the images and the symbols around that part of the cup. So the inner circle. Starting here, we have Saturn. This is self-discipline, responsibility, and plain hard work are needed now. You may face some kind of test or need to make some area of your life more efficient. So this goes right along with the bat. The bat is covering all of this and it kind of goes hand in hand. You're just needing to be very self-disciplined and you're gonna be working hard creating routines. Uh, let's move on here. The sun, you can make a positive impact on circumstances and people. Now, the symbol means creativity, joy, and success. Even though you're busy, are doing something that you are enjoying and allows you to be creative. We have the moon, your innermost feelings and most intimate relationships will be important. Pay attention to your dreams and intuitive inspirations. Also, because this is very intuition driven and it's bringing up intimate relationships, this is for me as a reader telling you to be mindful and use your gut when it comes to individuals that are trying to create relationships with you or who's in your circle at this time and pay attention to red flags or your intuition if it's telling you something. And then we have some of your leaves here. In this symbol so it's Mars energy action and assertiveness go for what you really want unless other symbols advise against and so far we have haven't had any symbols advising against what you want to go for it's saying that you are really really going to be lucky and you're gonna put a lot of energy into what it is you want to create and develop at this time if there were symbols here like the cross where it's a lot of burden warning you not to do take on too much in this cup, I would say possibly you're overworking, a workaholic at this time, but I'm not seeing that in this cup. I am just seeing that you're going to be striving towards putting your time and effort into something that you're really passionate about. You will come across people, uh, places, things that will help you in the long run, but it's going to actually be here in the near future. So very positive it's just saying be careful because you might be thinking outside the box and really going for what your heart desires and not many people do that so it could create a little bit of jealousy i love this here i know it's part of the tea but it's almost like an offering like a little flower there do you see it right there now as for the saucer Initially, I didn't see anything, but then I told myself to really focus. What I feel as though this could make out, even though I shouldn't really be move moving it, is either a whale or a dolphin. I'm not sure if you see that. 
the symbols are gonna look different. Some people might see an animal, some people might see a mountain, some people could see a fish, but my mind immediately went to a dolphin or a whale. The zodiac signs here are Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. Now me, myself, as a reader, I'm an Aries, so immediately I'm going to focus and feel drawn to this as if, okay, I feel like there's really a message here. We are now going into Pisces season. And I feel as though this is saying there are something significant that's going to occur here in the next couple of months, in the spring. Well, I feel drawn to see what it is that this is saying. And this is where your intuition will come in hand. For those who are interested in tassiography, we are going to develop our own techniques. I have seen where individuals place down a paper napkin and then flip the cup, however, I don't believe they themselves were reading the saucer. I feel drawn to read the saucer uh, as any additional advice from spirit or any additional messages. I'm just going to have to learn how to possibly drink a little bit more of the excess water and use a little bit less of the tea leaves but like i said i'm a firm believer everything happens for a reason and i feel as though this reading and the messages are very fluid i do want to look up dolphin and for those who possibly could see a whale i'm going to read you that too i do see the whale so if you see a whale as as well its circumstances are about to expand in your life a whale is usually a favorable sy symbol although if it is a worry or irritation that are expanded it could be to the point of debilitating anxiety particularly if you allow yourself to be swept away by negative feelings generally though this is a positive symbol when the situation is good it indicates that your finances social life or your romantic prospects are about to improve that's awesome now i did mention that i had another supplemental reading reference if you are very much so interested in tassiography this book is great for beginners however i started reading this book first so it's reading the leaves and it's by sandra wright and leanne Morama. hoping i'm saying that right and these are two women who co-author this book and they're from salem and i absolutely have been enjoying this, this very similar techniques however they put their own little spin on it. They even provide recipes that you could uh, make along with your tea. Now these two women actually hold tea parties and they really go about giving you examples of their experiences and different styles of reading. And then they also provide you with a glossary of tea leaf symbols. Let me see if I could find the dolphin in here. Dolphins can mean travel by water, a trip on a boat, a ferry, or even a cruise. It can also indicate a person with a happy, positive outlook on life. Yes, positive, positive, positive. <laughs> I honestly feel as though the messages here are very high vibing, high frequency, and you know, there was only really one symbol here saying, listen, you have so much good things going on. You have great gifts coming in from the universe. You are setting your goal. You're focused. I just honestly believe that there was one thing here that said to keep all of your endeavors to yourself or keep your circle small. You're going to know who you can and cannot trust. Even those who really care about you could always have good intentions and think they're providing you with pure advice and sometimes it's not really warranted or it could unintentionally throw you off your path in which you will make you successful, ultimately very, very happy. So I'm so excited that you joined me for this. Thank you so much with the unboxing of the Cup of Destiny as well as my first tea leaf reading with you all. I send you so much love and light. I do invite you to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of other content that I make here on my channel. Be blessed.